Hey, so delightful. One to keep, one to sell. Is that how this works? My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Land Lady and welcome to my channel. All right, well today we did not go very far. We did not drive an hour, we did not drive two hours, we drove 20 five minutes and we are at antiques marketplace of lemoyne it has been a few months since we were here the last time but we are here to see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit so here we go all right so the moment i walked in the door they offered to turn the music down for me which is fantastic because it means we don't have to do a voiceover which i love <laughs> so much more than you will ever know um, but this piece right here is really interesting. E elephant head paperweight. Oh, is it an elephant head? Oh, look at that. That's really actually quite cute. I guess he was kind of, I don't know. It doesn't really look like an elephant when he's sitting like that. But if you kind of tilt him, he kind of does look like an elephant. <laughs> it is signed on the bottom. What is it signed? Um, I'm not really sure what that says. It's 2000 though, and elephant head paperweight. Um, there's 20% off of this booth. So that's like five bucks off, right? Almost. $4.80. So just under 20 bucks. You know what? I think I'm going to grab that. You guys know I'm a sucker for the glass, and I like elephants as well. So we'll grab that. This one. I don't know. The Millefiore is just a little too stretched and it's just not as not as nice as the other one. What do they have on that though? They've got $18, which isn't a bad price for that. I just don't like it as much as the elephant head. Oh my gosh, look at these little guys. They're really cute. Soft, sculptured, Amish. Family. All right, well, let us continue. Well, it looks like Becky is having a 30% off sale on everything this week. So let's poke around her booth a little bit. It looks like she's got lots of roosters and chickens. This Mickey planter is really fun. That's not one that I've seen before. But I kind of like it. Who makes that, I wonder? And it's marked on the bottom. I'm gonna lift it very carefully. Mickey Mouse, Walt Disney. I almost wonder if it's American Bisque. Although American Bisque is usually painted. Well, it's kind of painted, I don't know. I like him though, he's pretty cool. 35, 30% off, a little bit tempted. We're just getting started, so. This one is really neat, this is $25. No, you know, so I'm gonna pass up on Mickey, but this pelican is like saying things to me. He's saying, take me home, I'm a pelican. How often do you come across a Tonella pelican? Not very often, Mr. Pelican. I hear what you're putting down and you're 20, $25, 30% off. I'm really digging the pelican. And he's a fun color scheme. Sometimes the color schemes on the Tonala pottery is just the same thing over and over and over again. But this one's kind of like got this olive green, it's got the blue. It is marked Mexico. I like him, so I will, I will stick him in my cart. A little basket, I should say. We got a little basket. We got a head vase here, a little baby head vase. I don't know much about the little baby head vases. I know a little bit about the regular head vases, but the babies kind of throw me a little bit. All right, well, I'm pretty pleased with my pelican. And then we have Tiffany's booth. And I actually briefly, very briefly, met Tiffany for the first time at the flea market, I think like two weeks ago. It was in passing. And all I got to say was hi before Andrew dragged me away. <laughs> he didn't realize I had never met her before, but 
Um, I had the opportunity to meet her recently and I just absolutely love her booths. She has such eclectic items in here all the time. Like take this out, pair of metal bookends. They're like spaniels on books. I mean, that's so much fun. She's just got really interesting stuff in here and I love to see what she's got. I don't always leave with something, but I like to look. And since we haven't been here in a while, I can see there's been a lot of changeover. She's got a lot of new stuff. I really like that piece right there. I don't know. Um, please latch door before locking. Oh, I guess this is now locked. This didn't used to be locked, but... Um... Oh, wait. No, it's not. I see. It didn't used to be locked. I don't think it is locked. What is this? Oh, it's Royal Dalton. Of course it is Royal Dalton. Of course, of course. And I don't see it priced. Darn it. Oh wait, is this, did the price fall off? Did you see it fall off? Is this it right here? <gasps> Moment of truth. <gasps> $65, what? What? The last piece of the Dalton Burslim that we had sold for $400. So even though $65 may seem like a lot of money, I might be willing to pay that, but I'm checking it over because I don't, I can't tell if it's been repaired. It's a really neat design. I'm loving that kind of blue calico, which is that busy blue floral mixed with the gold. And you can see the marking there on the bottom. So I think for $65, well, absolutely stick this in our card. That is fantastic. And... Oh yes, she still has 25% off. So. Absolutely, it's got birds on it. We've got an elephant and birds. There you go. All right, well let's see if we can find anything else in here before we close it up. This is interesting, it's super, super heavy. Oh, it's stone. It's lapis, lapis, lapis. I have a ring that is made out of this, actually. I have to get it resized. That's why I haven't been wearing it. You probably remember when I bought it. The, all three of those rings just fit really funny. And since they were so expensive, I really want to get them resized before, before they fall off. And I lose them forever. We have to get them resized. All right, so I think that's really it for this case. Let's move on. That's a really nice blue candle six in there. I'm really digging this fish. Can we open it? There we go. Who makes this? Green pottery, McCoy, $50. I don't know if that's McCoy. I mean, maybe. I feel like I would say this could be McCoy as well. If I was to see this, I would say, oh, that might be McCoy. And then I would second guess myself, <laughs> which is funny because she says McCoy question mark. I'm, I'm in the same boat. I'm like, is it McCoy? I don't know. I'm second guessing that opinion as well. Because my first instinct is, that looks like McCoy. I don't know. I really like it. Um, it is 25% off. So it's like 40 bucks, but I don't know. I think our last fish, these actually sold pretty well too, but I don't know. Look at these guys. Oh my gosh. I, for a second, I thought he had googly eyes. I was really excited and I was like, oh wait, no. Those are just regular eyes. Look at that glass fish face. That's kind of fun. She's only got $32 on that. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure who makes that. 
just looking at it through here. here I'll, this one is always really tricky. I'm gonna turn off the camera to get this open because it always makes me really nervous. All right, there we go. <laughs> I mean, I like it. I think it's neat. It is only 32 and it's 25% off. You know, looking at this, I'm not sure if it's Murano or not, but it's only that $32. I don't think it really matters. It is a cool piece and I'm going to judge it on its coolness factor and not on the, the inkling that it's Murano because I don't feel like it is Murano. I just feel like it's a really cool fish face. Thirty-two, twenty-five percent off. So, yeah, it's under thirty dollars. I think we're gonna do that because of its form and because it is a fish. She's really neat. Chinese pottery lady with butterfly. Look at how delicate her fingers are. This one. I really like the looks of this one. That lavender glass. All the pieces there. This is the one. This is the one. This is probably TMI, but I just walked out of the bathroom and I saw this 30% off sale. But I didn't just see the 30% off sale. <laughs> that is the largest Tonala owl I have seen in my entire life. And I'm curious. $44.50 plus 30% off and I need him. I just absolutely need him in my life. Whether I resell him, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably going to resell him because I can't keep, I can't hold on to things. That, that leads to hoarding. I love him so much. I need him. Apparently someone else paid 10 bucks for him. Rock on. That's awesome. <laughs> you gotta love when people mark things with um, permanent marker. Don't do that. Don't be that person. All right. We're almost to the point where we need to go and uh, get rid of this stuff. But first, take him in. He's amazing. Wait, what is that? Oh, it's regular. It's <laughs> like, wait, that looks really nice. Um, I love that little mushroom canister over there. I've seen those before, but never like that with all the mushrooms. Usually it has like a mix of vegetables. This little guy is adorable too. Butterfly figurine, only $12.95 plus 30% off. I think I need to check the markings on that. Okay, you just hang out in here for a minute because I know you're super fragile and I'm gonna put you right on top of that potentially $400 royal. Dalton, it's all good. Everything's fine. Everything's good. Everybody calm down. Look at this. Marie Japan. Hmm. These things can be super collectible. That's why I'm I'm him and hawing about this. $12.95. Okay. I wish you had friends because normally I know they come in like pairs and sets. You're fine the way you are. You're perfect. Don't let anyone ever tell you differently. Okay, let's look at this guy. I've actually seen these before, these brass. brass he does not have a price on him unless it's in... Oh, it is. $28. I mean, he's super cool. I could totally see him in a beach house or something. Lobster is awesome. I just... I don't know about the brass. I was a little late, late to the, to the show when it came to brass. Oh my gosh, look at these Santas. Thirty-four fifty for this set. Oh my god, they're delightful and they're probably worth it. We've got the little. Tonella Angel down here. I've had a smaller version of this before and I actually did pretty well with it. So the fact that this is larger, 15 and it's 30% off. I think I'm going to do this. Um, they come in sets, I believe. I believe there would have been a, a few of these. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Isn't she adorable? Michael would love that so much. 
he was here. I know he would. He'd be like all about that. Oh, look at the little duck. Hi there, buddy. How much you got on you? Thirty dollars. Thirty percent off. So it's nine dollars off. Twenty-three. I think for twenty-three dollars, since he has all of his beak and all of his feet. Gold fleck. You know, I came in here today and I said, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of money. I'm not. I'm not going to, I'm going to, I'm going to hold back. I'm not going to spend a lot of money. And then I'm finding like a duck and a giant owl and an angel and all the things that I love. <laughs> oh boy. Wow, look at that lamp up there. Fantastic. All right, well, let's take some of this stuff up front because we're getting to the point where I'm getting a little nervous. So look at that little bunny in the frame. Right, as I was actually leaving the booth, I noticed this lavender-looking ashtray here with the bubbles. It is marked. Right, my hands are full. <laughs> but it's marked $17, and it is also 30% off, so we might grab that. I'm also going to turn this over and see what it says. In fact, I'm going to try to finagle the camera and turn it over at the same time. Let's see. Oh, it's made in Israel. That is pretty cool. I like it. I like this more. Purple ashtray. It kind of reminds me of like the Milky Way. It's really neat looking. This is really cute too. Look at this. 20 bucks. So fish. I might have to do that as well. Look at him. He is so cool. Look at him. He's like a little Boston Terrier. He's so great. Twenty dollars. Is that cool? I love him. I just brought him in. Did you? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. <laughs> I bought a Great Dane like oh, six months ago and that was really cool. This is similar. It's really close. Oh, it's really it. cool. Well, looky here. Display of four Kachina dolls. This is really interesting because you get to see the difference between the various Kachina dolls. I've never seen them side by side before. We've got Navajo and then Hopi. Opie, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right, but it's really interesting to see them all side by side. This was resin. I thought maybe that was um, Soroka wood, but I think that's resin. We're kind of bouncing all over the place today. I'm just, <laughs> I'm all over the place. I haven't been here in so long. Oh my God. Squirrel. Oh my gosh. What is this thing? It is a fox. I just answered my own question. What is happening? California Pottery. Mr. Fox? <gasps> what? Oh my god, he's delightful. He's so delightful. One to keep, one to sell. Is that how this works? Keep one, sell one. This is what goes on in my head. <laughs> I love him so much. All right, I may have to look up comps on this before I commit, but I'm, I'm pretty committed to keep one, sell one at this point. All right, so I just tried looking it up and I couldn't actually find one because this says Freeman McFarlane style, Mr. Fox. It's not actually by Freeman McFarlane. It is the, in the style of. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm going to do it. Just, just.
just throw a fox in my path and we will get, we will get very distracted. Keep one saw one, that's what we'll do. All right, I'm gonna take these up front because uh, all of those ears, oh wait, this one is broken. Darn it. This one's got a repaired ear. Maybe that's the one I would keep. I would keep the broken one. I would sell the good one. Although I think John is around here somewhere. I might point that out and see if he can give me a discount on the broken one. That sucks. Okay. Hello, birdie. He's got a little bit of gold in there. He's got a nice beak. He's riding a wave. Twenty dollars. I don't think. I think there was might. There might be a ten percent discount on that. So I get it for eighteen. I think I put a pass on it though. I want to pass on him. All right. Well, let's go this way. All right, well, you know what I'm gonna do. I think we're gonna actually split this video into two parts and I'm going to end up part one right here and you guys will have to just stick around until tomorrow for part two of this video. But we found some really great things today and we haven't even scratched the surface. So I will see all of you tomorrow, so long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.